says, Miss Germain. Uh, Jocelyn is here. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That was Mateo or Matias. Mateo, that's what I thought. Rashem, Matias, Landon, Hector. Good morning, everybody. Elijah, Tiffany. Good morning, everybody. Please open up the slideshow for today. Edgar is here. Edgar was that person I let in that I didn't see. Sam Lamar is here. Good morning. Melissa. Good morning, Edgar. Uh, Jalen is here. Let me just find Jalen here. Um, we have Muka. We have Geo. A Geostorm. Why? I don't, I don't. You're gonna ask me why I say these things and I'm gonna say, I don't know. Call in Geo Geostorm. I'm Okay, so we're just waiting on Sam B, Bry Guy, Shelby, Ricardo, and Camilla. So I know that sometimes Sam B gets here a little bit later. So I'm gonna get started. I'm just gonna get started. Um, so I have a question. Question time. Um, when you guys were doing your afternoon work yesterday, did you like notice anything weird about the video? Yeah. What yeah. happened? What was it? It just turned off out of nowhere. Yeah. Just turned off. Uh, so ne next time, guys, next time that happens, obviously I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> and like my internet went out, I guess, when I was making the video. Um, but next time that happens, guys, send me emails. <laughs> because I didn't get an email from somebody about that until 1130 last night. And there was nothing that I could do. If you guys had let me know a little bit earlier, I maybe could have like filmed, the, refilmed it or something. But so yeah, just next time, <laughs> let me know if things like that happen and um, I can help you guys out, okay? <laughs> I was like sleeping when I got an email. I was like, oh, okay, that's awkward. Okay, so today we are talking about this idea, this concept of balanced moves, doing what we do to one side to the other side. So let me, I'm gonna make this guy a little bit smaller. Actually, I'm gonna pull him over here. So, because I like to keep him there. Let me just pull my participants up just in case people join. Um, let me pull the chit chat up and then we're gonna get started. So what we're gonna do, oh, give me one second, Edgar, and I'll look at that when you're working on the warm up this morning, okay? Okay, so our um, work for this morning, I mean, how we're gonna start today is, we are looking at our goal for the day is rewriting equations while keeping the same solution. So we're, we're keeping, if we're thinking about those hangers, we're keeping them balanced and taking equations and rewriting them. So let's take a look at what we learned yesterday and last year about hangers, right? And about equations. So when we're thinking about equations represented by these hanger diagrams, we know that we can do the following. We can add or subtract the same quantity from each side. So the really important piece is that it we're saying it's the same quantity. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. For example, if we're looking at this hanger here, if I cancel out or get rid of one of these squares here, I have to do the same thing on the other side, okay? So we are looking at, okay, Ms. Shermaine did not, okay. This is good. So we're adding or subtracting the same quantity to each side and the equations are still true. So when we have hangers here, we're gonna be adding or subtracting the same amount from each side. So if I take a square away on the left side, I have to take one away on the right side. If I add a circle on the left side, I have to add a circle to the right side, doing the same thing to each side, okay? Number two, we can multiply 
the number of things on each side by the number and the equation is still true. So we're gonna be able to multiply things on from one side to the other. So if I take this, this, this group of, uh, if I take one square and I multiply it by three, I multiply this square by three so that now I have three squares on this side, I have to multiply one of my squares on the other side by three as well. Then we can also divide by a number of shapes. So if I have, I have two groups here, right? I have two groups of square, triangle, triangle, right? Square, triangle, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. If I divide this by two, I would get rid of or cancel out one of these groups of square, triangle, triangle. Boom, okay? So that is one thing that we talked about yesterday. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. The second thing that we talked about is adding or subtracting, multiplying and dividing both sides by the same number works even if we're talking about negative numbers. Right. So if we were to have an equation here and it looked, say, like this, um, 3x, um, and actually let's say negative 3x is equal to 12. To get my x by itself, I would do what to each side? Let me know in the chat. What would I do to each side to get that x by itself here? What I do? It's already attached through multiplication though, remember? So it's already, it's attached to this through multiplication. So how do I undo multiplication, guys? Division. I have to, yes, Destiny, I have to divide. So even though there's this negative sign here, don't get tricked and say, you have to add it. Mm -mm, don't get tricked. What we have to do here is we still need to think about this operation here, this multiplication, and we undo that by doing division. So if we were given this example here, we would have to divide by three on both sides, divide by three, and then we underline it to show that we're doing that division, okay? Okay, I'm gonna solve that. I'm gonna look at that riddle um, when I have you get started on the task for today. So let me just mark off Sam B because he is here. And let's take a look at the next piece of this. So Miss Germain, I'm gonna solve your riddle, I promise. Miss Germain might have messed up a little bit. And it was a long night yesterday. So what I forgot to do is I forgot to make a copy of this assignment here on Desmos. So what I'm going to do is I have to find this Desmos activity. Let me, you don't click on any of these links here, please. Don't click on any of these links here. I mean, any of these um, cohort numbers here. I am going to go in and I forgot to assign it. So give me one second here. Okay, we're rolling with the punches, guys. I'm going to assign this as a single class code. I'm gonna view my dashboard and let me show you what you need to click, okay? So you need to come into the Zoom, come into the Zoom chat and um, click on the link I am about to put in there right now, okay? So here we go in the chat, there is a link for a Desmos activity. I need you to click on it for me and let's open it, it up. Okay, I have Myla in, perfect. Matias, Joseph, Muka, very good. Jocelyn is in, Sam is in. So you don't have to do anything with number one yet. I'm gonna show you how to work with it, but we're going to look at this. I am just want to get people in first. So we have Muka, Jocelyn, Sam, uh, Olivia, Gio, Rashem, Elijah. Perfect. I still need a couple more people in. We have 19 people in this meeting. I should have 19 people in Desmos. Gio, Rashem, Elijah, Destiny, Sam B, Melissa. Very good. Edgar's in. Okay, so get to slide number one for yourself and then let me show you how we're gonna set it up. 
Okay, so Edgar is in. Perfect. So we're still missing a few friends, though. Let's see who we're missing. Uh, Lando, I don't see you in here yet. Lando, you need to get in, buddy. Um, stay on slide number one for me, please. Um, very good. Sam B is in. What about Sam L? Sam L, I don't see you in here yet, my friends. Please try to get in. Lando, try to get in. Here we go. Um, so let me show you what you're going to look like, what it's going to look like here. So your yeah, first Sam screen. Is in you made oh, Sam B. Oh, I, did I say Sam? Okay, let me see. Let's see. Sam B is in. Oh, Sam L is in. Mr. Main. What am I doing? Landon, I still don't see you in here, though. This is attendance for today. So if you're not in here, you're not getting attendance for today. So please get into this assignment. Let's take a look at how I need you to sort these guys. So on your screen right here, yours looks something like this, right? Oh, okay. How do I? So it's in the chat, Landon. So if you go into the Zoom chat, I put a link to it says student.desmos. You click on that link and then you just hit sign in with Google. Okay. Thank you, Landon. Perfect. Thank you, Sam Lamar. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> so what I need you to do, how we're going to sort these, if you look back at the slides here, we're going to put all of our equations on one side and all of our words on the other. So on your slideshow here, I want you to grab all of your cards that have equations on them and bring them over to the right side like I'm doing. All the cards with the words, I want you to bring over to the left side, right side. Mr. Main, learner directions. Okay, and this card that says no match is gonna go with the equations. Okay, you might have to sort of stack them a little bit differently if your screen is a little bit smaller. If you want to stack them like this, you can do that. There is no order that you need to put them in, like no specific order. Just make sure that you have them all sort of separated for yourself. Okay, let me know when you are able to get these all sorted and separated. Okay, Edgar's ready. Matinas is ready. Myla seems like she's ready. Perfect. So Joe is ready. Let me tell you what we're gonna do here with these cards. Is what I want to what I want to do is I want you to grab the one that has ten minus. Yes, 10 minus 6x is equal to 4 plus 5x and pull him into the middle. Okay, so sort of in that no man's land between your cards. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want us to look at when we go from the first step to the second step, what is changing? What piece of this is changing? Is the constant or the number by itself changing, or the variable? What is changing? The constant, the number by itself, looking from step one to step two, or is our variable changing step one to step two? Let me know in the chat. Is the constant or the C changing, or the V variable? Let me know in the chat. You can do C if the number by itself is changing, step one to step two, or a V if your variable is changing from step one to step two. Very good, Rasham. Very good, Edgar. Joe, very good. Edgar, very good. Myla, very good. Gio, very good. Joe, very good. Nice, nice job. Very good, Joe. So if we look at this guy from step one to step two, this number by itself is the number that's changing. So we're going to say that constant is that number that's changing. Is my C backwards when I do it that way? I feel like it is. I don't know. 
Anyways, uh, <laughs> so our constant is changing. So that means we're adding or subtracting something to each side here. We're not, we're not doing anything with an X, right? We're not adding a three X. That's not what's happening. We're not, um, we're not adding a negative three X to each side. So how much are we adding or subtracting from each side here? What do we think? Are we adding some number? Or are we, and it looks like we're dealing with threes here. So are we adding a negative three or adding a positive three? It's a, it's a three. Nice job. Nice job, Edgar. Nice job, Joe. Very good. Very good, Gio. I want to get a few more answers in the chat. What are we thinking? Very good, Sam Lamar. Very good, Gio. I know, I, know, I know I already said that, but very good. So if we look at this, let's look at this guy here. It looks like we're subtracting three here, right? Because we're going from 10 to seven. If we're subtracting three, subtracting three is the same thing as, it's the same thing as adding a negative three. So let me let Shelby in. And let's take a, so we're gonna match this with what's happening here. So we're adding a negative three to each side. So you're gonna take that card that says add negative three to each side, and you're gonna match it with this card right here. And then we're gonna keep them together and we're going to move them out of the way, move them up here, okay? So Shelby, if you come into the chat, my friend, let me um, show you what we're doing, where you need to be right now. Um, I'm going to put this out to everybody again. Um, I'm going to say control V. Um, Shelby, if you click on that link right in the chat right there, you can join where we are right now. Okay, so let's grab another one of these cards here. Okay, um, let's grab this 3x plus 7 is equal to 5x. Okay, my question here, what piece of this equation is changing? Is it the constant, the number by itself? Or is the variable changing? The letter with the, the, the number with the letter attached to it. The constant, the number by itself, or the variable, the number with the letter attached. Very good, Rasham. Very good, Jocelyn. Take a look though. If we're going from step one to step two. Nice job, Destiny. Ooh, Destiny took it one step further and she said which card she thinks actually actually goes with it. So if we look at this guy here, we go from having a 3x on this right side to not having any 3x's. We go from a 5x to a 2x. So we're changing that variable or that number with the letter attached. Nice job, Edgar. The number with the letter attached because we're going from a 5x to a 2x, okay? And the way that we go from a 5x to a 2x is what are we doing to each side then? We're adding something, right? How, what are we adding to each side here? We're not multiplying, we're not multiplying. So if we're going from 3x to no x's here, we're going from five down to two, we took away three, Add negative three, and then what's attached to that three though? A three, a negative three, very good, Tiffany, a negative three X. So because we're going down, we're adding a negative, and we're taking away three X's. Because that variable, that, that number with the letter attached is changing, we're going to be adding a negative three X to this side. Good, nice job. Okay, so we just made another pair. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. You guys are doing so fantastic. Let's grab another one. Ooh, okay. We're gonna grab a tricky one. Um, let's grab this guy here. Okay. Um, actually, no, 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 we're gonna grab this one here. We're gonna grab this one that has the fraction on it. Grab the one that has the fraction on it. 
Okay. So now I want you to look at this guy here. So now we're not dealing with what's changing here. We're dealing with the, I'm going to ask the question, what do you notice is happening between step one and step two? I want you to take 30 seconds to type in the chat for me. What do you notice is happening from step one to step two? I want you to think. Anything that you notice is happening between step one and step two. There are no wrong answers here. Very good, Tiffany. That's a good observation. Okay. Nice job, Gio. That's a good observation. Oh, Edgar made an uh, made a, a guess of what might be going on. Anything that you notice, I got one from Tiffany, Gio, and Edgar. Let me know, what do you notice going on on this card right here? Okay. You were interested before. Okay, let me, I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna look at it right now, Edgar, okay? Yes, nice job. Okay, we're taking another 19 to tell me in the chat, what do you notice is going on here? You are interested before you know me, but unless when you know me, what am I? Oh, Edgar, I'm so bad at, I'm not so bad at riddles. Let me think about it. Okay, I'm really bad at riddles. Okay. So let's see some of these things that people noticed here. Okay, so Tiffany told me, you can keep putting them in the chat. I'm just gonna start reading at the top. Tiffany said that the fractions are gone. Very good. So we went from having a divide by three here and now it's gone. And Gio said the fractions go bye-bye. Um, Edgar said that he thinks that we might be subtracting. Okay, I like it. Um, Rashem said step one has a negative three at the bottom and step two doesn't have the negative three. Rasham, that's such a good thing to notice. Okay, Tiffany said it wasn't there before the 36. So we didn't have 36 before. So very good on that one. Um, we have, Destiny said it has fractions. Good, that's a good thing to notice. Rasham gave me another one. He said the, stop, the top for step one has a 5X and the step two um, just is also has a good, nice job. That's a good one to notice there. Nice job. On that one, Destiny. Um, oh, you're the riddle. <laughs> That's cute, Edgar. So then Destiny said multiply. Good. Um, Edgar said, okay, we will think about that in a minute, Edgar, okay? So uh, people noticed a lot of really good things. So first, people noticed that this these fractions went away. And when we divide by three, when we were talking last week about how to undo things, how do you undo this divide by three here? Because that's what we did here. If you look at it, this negative three in the denominator went away. So that means we undid it. So what did we have to do to each side to get rid of that divide by negative three? One thing, how do you undo Dividing by a number. Yes, very good. So we're not gonna, you don't have to subtract. We're just gonna multiply by that number, right? Because we got rid of that denominator of three, which means that we had to do some multiplication. So to each side, it uh, from just looking here, it seems like we have to multiply by negative three. If we look at this guy here, is 12 times negative three equal to 36? It is, yes, Rashem shaking his head, yes. Yes, very good. If you grab your calculator and you calculate 12 times negative three, because we multiply by negative three, multiply by negative three, we get five X is equal to 36. So we're multiplying each side by negative three. Oh, look at that, we're geniuses, it's scary. Wonderful, so we just made a second card match. We're gonna make one more card match. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's take a look at 
the this guy here. Okay. So we have. So when we were talking about this before, we I told you that you want to distribute this guy here. But that's not what these guys did. If you look at this equation here, we didn't distribute this negative three, but somehow we got rid of that negative three. And how, what operation did we say attached this negative three to this parentheses here? What operation is going on in that first equation on the left side? If you look from the outside, this negative three is attached to the parentheses using what? Nice job, Edgar. Nice job, Tiffany. I'm going to give you another 20 seconds to think because I want everybody to really, really, really think what operation is attaching this negative three to the four to this parentheses here. Remember, there's no sign there. So when there's no sign, we can say it's what operation. Hmm. Nice job, Rashem. Thanks for that answer. Ooh, look at that, Geo. Nice job. I'm going to give you another five more seconds to tell me what operation attaches this three on the outside of a parentheses to the parentheses, what's inside the parentheses. Okay. Thank you for everybody that put it in the chat. Edgar, Tiffany, Rashem, and Geo. You guys are rock stars. Awesome. So if we look at this guy here, this negative three is attached to this parentheses using multiplication. And the way that we know that is because when there's no sign there, we know that it's multiplication. So to undo or get rid of this minus three here, what do we have to do to undo multiplication? What do we have to do? Nice job, Gio. Let me know in the chat. What operation do I have to do to undo multiplication? Nice job, Tiffany. Go ahead. Yes, nice job, Joe. Nice job, Rasham. Yes, you are so on today. You're on. You're just, you're so on all the time. That's what it is. I think is what it is. Okay, so I have three friends in the chat. Oh, Sam Lamar, thank you, I didn't see that. Nice job, Sam Lamar. We have to divide to undo this multiplication. So if I look at these options over here, oh no, I only have multiply. So I have to multiply here. So multiply each side by one third or multiply each side by negative one third. So if we look at this original number here, what, what, is, what kind of number is that? It's a what kind of three? Negative three. Yes, Rishem. It's a negative. Yes, Tiffany. Yes, Geo. It's a negative. So we're going to, this is to cancel out this three here, we're going to multiply each side by negative one third. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Nice job. So we have four pairs that we made here. What we're going to be doing now for this afternoon, let me tell you what you're going to be doing. Okay. So if we, you can keep this tab open for a minute and then I'm going to have you close it in about 30 seconds, but let's go back to the slideshow first. Okay. I want to look at slide number eight just to close us out for today. If we look at this first equation here and we look at how it was simplified down here, what move could you do to this equation that would result it to, to make it look like this? So we went from a 2x to just a regular x. What operation or what do we notice is happening between our X's from the first row to the second row? Tell me in the chat, what do you know? Let's, I'm taking a step back. What do you notice is happening to our X's from step one to step two? That's all I'm asking you. What do you notice is happening to our X's step one to step two?
Nice job, Gio. Nice job, Edgar. Nice job. Um, Edgar gave me two. Nice job, Gio. He gave me another one. Good. Nice job, Tiffany. What do you notice? I'm not asking you what operation. I'm saying, what do you notice? What's happening? Nice job. So some friends are saying that they noticed. Um, Edgar, yes, you can type one out and then I'm, I'll get it and I'll answer it for you tomorrow. Okay. Um, some friends are saying that the X is now by itself. Good. The two is gone. Good. We noticed that there's multiplication in the top equation. Yes, Rashem. That is what I was looking for. Rockstar. We know that. This two is attached to this X through multiplication. So if this two is now gone, what operation did we have to do to get rid of it? Nice job, Edgar. Yes, Sam Lamar. Yes, Gio. You said you didn't know, but if we take one step back, think about it bigger and then come back in, we're better able to do it. Yes, we have to divide. Yes, Sam Lamar, Rashem, Geo. <laughs> Very good. So when we have to go from this step here to this step here, the X went away and it's attached through multiplication originally. So we undo it using the move of division. Okay, that's how we get rid of it is by doing that move of, move of division. Very good. Nice job. Okay, so let me tell you what you're doing this afternoon. Two things for this afternoon, actually one thing. Well, two things. So first of all, I put a bunch of grades into power school. I want it to be clear that if you make changes to things in, if you submit things that maybe were missing, you need to send me an email every single time you do something so that I remember to check it. Cause I have a lot of kids sending me things right now. So send me an email if you make any changes to anything in the, in the, um, power school. So this afternoon, your afternoon work, here we go. You are matching equations to these hanger diagrams. That's all you're doing. Okay. For that first piece, that's all you're doing. We're going to go through this tomorrow for um, our warm up. So just be prepared and be aware that we're going to be looking at this again tomorrow. You're matching the equations to each of these hanger diagrams using this information right here. Your so second the two slides. One more time, Rasham. Extra two slides. Yep. So we you, you don't have to do anything with these slides here. Eight, nine, or ten. You don't have to do anything with those. All you're doing for the afternoon is slide 12, 13. And on 14, you have 20 minutes of Alex time on your path, okay? That's the only thing you have for this afternoon. You're matching these equations, telling me how you did it, and then you're taking 20 minutes of Alex my path time, okay? The Alex my path time is probably the more important of the two. So please make sure that you get in and you do that Alex time, okay? Of debt. Okay, perfect. Edgar, I'm going to write that down and I'm going to go through it. I'm going to try to figure out what the answer is for tomorrow. If anybody has any questions for me, you can throw them in the chat. If not, you guys can head out and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic afternoon, everybody. That's my last riddle. I, I see that one. Um, I'm writing them down just because I, I, I'm, not, I'm going to have to close this meeting out, but I will do them for tomorrow. Okay, Edgar? Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Bye, guys. I will see you tomorrow.